Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and it's just this little simple card, but I love it. Okay, we're using two stamp sets, Magical Day and A Good Day. And the reason I, of course, I love this one. I've already said that. Love, love, love. Um, a Good Day I used because of the greeting, Hello Friend. Use whatever greeting you have. I wanted it to fit right down here under there. And the way this card came about is I have a bunch of extra Sweet Soray Designer Series paper. And I mean a bunch, like five extra packs. So I love this pattern of paper, but I wanted to use it differently than what it's intended. So this is what I came up with, and that's going to be my downline cards um, for their anniversaries this month. So if any of you girls are watching, this is your card. I'm going to be coloring them all myself. And you can get 10 of these pieces out of one sheet of designer series paper. So it measures four and a quarter by two and a half. So you're going to cut it at four and a quarter and then two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And then your final strip that's going to be left over, you're going to have a couple of these that are like that. So it's going to be on here like this. That doesn't bother me. I think it's still cute. So, and then there's a blue design in this pack too that has squiggles. So maybe I'll make um, a boy version of this card. Okay, sorry, I've been rattling on forever. These supplies are powder pink, eight and a half by four and a quarter, and sweet soiree designer series paper, four and a quarter by two and a half, smoky slate, two and three quarters by two and three quarters, whisper white. Two and, a, two and a half by two and a half, and then a scrap of white for our greeting right here. Okay, what we'll do first is score our card at four and a quarter. This is my absolute most favorite card size, and sometimes I shy away from doing it because some people uh, don't like that it doesn't fill up the envelope, and we cannot mail a four and a quarter by a four and a quarter envelope. But it doesn't bother me that the envelope's not full. So for those of you that get this card, I don't think you're going to open it up and say, hmm, the envelope was a little empty. And I say that every time I make a, a card like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the designer series paper right to the front. And you can decide which way do you want to do it. This way, which kind of looks like waves. I don't know. I I'll do it this way just so that we have one of each. How about that? There we go. Now I'm going to take the white organza ribbon, which I used this on the Valentine lollipops the other day. Thank y'all for the kind words about that project. I appreciate it. I said yesterday, um, it's nice to finally be back in my office and the holidays are over. The holidays are always so stressful with the 5,000 things we have to do. Okay. So I'm just going to trim that. Oop, I almost trimmed it a little too, too small. And then I'm going to slide it over here to the right side. Now let's stamp our images. We're using Memento ink, and I want to center the dragon, and he's pretty easy to, um, to center because it's just a square. It makes me a little bit think of Game of Thrones. I stamped him a little high. It's okay. It's just my sample. And then now let's go ahead and stamp the greeting so that we can let that dry while we're coloring. Okay, I'm taking the light pink purette and the light smoky slate, and I have already colored one in advance because for me to color this thing perfectly, I would need to stick my face in the camera or my head, and I am not doing that. I have my hair in a bun on the top of my head. It would scare y'all. So I'm going to show you how to color it, but I'm probably going to um, insert the one that I already have done. And I colored a couple of these today, trying to figure out the best, the best way to color her. Okay. 
Okay, I don't think I did too bad. Actually, I think I did really well. So, I changed her hands in this one to gray. And in this one, they were powder pink. I don't know which way I like them best. Anyway, they're both cute, right? So now I'm going to take... I'm making another change here. This one I sponged in powder pink. And on the one we're making now, I'm going to sponge it in Smoky Slate just to see which way I like it better. I'm probably going to like this one better and then it's not centered. The dragon's a little high. I don't have to use the one I made in advance. Wouldn't, isn't that always true though? Now, I probably, if I hadn't had that, I would have messed up. So now I'm going to take the classic label punch and cut this out. And this just helps me cut that out perfectly. So I'm just going to trim it to the left and to the right. Okay. And then I'm going to sponge it as well. I'm in the sponging mood this season. <laughs> now we're going to take ruh -roh, the fast fuse and add this to the top. So this is going to go just like that. I want to make sure that the ribbon is exactly where I want it because I'm actually not popping this up. Now, if we popped this layer up, um, then we could slide the ribbon around, but I'm not because I want to make the greeting flush as well. So we're going to take our fast fuse, apply it to the bottom of the card, and then I'm going to add the greeting to it. Well, and I say, did I get, did I get adhesive far enough on there? I don't think I did. Huh. So make sure you get your greet or your adhesive on the bottom. And by the way, liquid glue works really well. I need to get my liquid glue back over here. Ever since I made my swap cards, it's been upstairs. So I'm just going to put some adhesive back here. And then I'm going to bring it down just, I don't know, like a half an inch. So here's the original, and then here's the one we just made. And the only difference is, is I sponged this one in Smoky Slate, and I changed the, the hands. I like the smoky slate better. What about you? Okay, head over to my website, leave a comment. I'm going to send this card to someone, okay? Whoever, whatever name I draw. Have a great day. Bye.